Warning, this review contains language and topics suited for mature audiences. I also say vagina a bunch of times. Thank you and enjoy the show. Vagina. Horror movies can be much more than ghosts, killers, and monsters. They could be morality tales. You know how horror movies often punish sin? Because it's easier to kill a character we don't like. Something to make their deaths more palatable. How many teenagers, kids really, have we seen slaughtered in all these movies? Do we feel bad for them? Maybe a little, but not as much because the movie tells us not to. Because they were bad. The survivor is usually the sweet, virginal character ready to face evil again in the sequel. Sometimes the sweet, virginal character fights back and it's usually glorious when she turns their own weapons against them. This is the one weapon Jason never used. This is teeth. Little Dawn and Brad are about to become step-siblings when his dad marries her mother. She ate my sister! Careful! She bites. Ow! What's wrong? Get wrecked, son! No biting. Now go open your stepfather's beer. Dawn is now a teenage girl played by Jess Wexler. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and her boyfriend too. Oh wait, that's Tom Petty. We have a gift. What do you do with gifts? Return for store credit? She believes in abstinence. They even have school assemblies about it. You're going to hold on to it and share it with the mother of your children. Whatever. At least we're out of class. That's what the ring is all about. Until the day you trade it in for that other ring. The rubber kind that vibrates. Ow! One day she meets Toby, played by Hale Appleman. She's obviously able to handle such hotness. Hey, why is the floor wet back here? Her mom is sick with, uh, I don't know, Disneyitis. Her stepdad seems like a nice guy. Brother Brad, on the other hand, is an asshole, played by John Hensley. I got you, bitch! That's it then for the penis. Let's move on to the... to the... <clears throat> the word is hoo-ha, you're welcome. Either they're censoring the textbooks, or... All right, I couldn't decide on which joke to use, so here's all of them. This woman just got notarized, big time. When sex is so good, you get a gold star. I also going to keep it fresh. Flex tape really does fix everything. Dental damn! Was she punched by Batman? Why are you looking? It's just so hard to stay innocent with today's movies. Even the G-rated movies aren't much safer. You can't see it, but they cut a hole in the popcorn. And there's popcorn all over the floor. They are amateurs. Group dates don't lead to sex, so let's just solve mysteries, gang. This is a huge metaphor. The infamous sex cave. Please book at least two days in advance. Brad seems to have trouble relating to women, but this is still hotter than nine and a half weeks. Dawn fantasizes about having married relations with Toby. Wow, she is new at this. I feel like I can smell this room from here. All right, Dawn tries to have a heart to heart with Brad and he... We all know who you've been saving yourself for. And I've been real patient. Straight up reveals his desire for her, his stepsister. And Toby fantasizes about... I was thinking the same thing. What else? So they break up for like two minutes. I need to see you. While on a swim date... <gasps> without the others! They swim, they play, they kiss... And they continue by swimming into the metaphor. But Dawn is having second thoughts. He accidentally knocks her out. I hate this guy. While she's out, he starts taking advantage of her. Thankfully, he will regret it. Dawn wakes up and nips this little shit in the bud. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to show the actual carnage, so I will let Clive Owen in Shoot 'em Up represent the act. <laughs> Toby is well. Dickless. Gratuitous shot of the severed member on the cave floor. Yes, I'm censoring it. Come back! I was hoping for a ride home! In Russia, cavity creep make teeth in... I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. How was your day, honey? Well, I castrated a boy with my womanhood. 
That's nice, dear. Dinner's in the microwave. Her youthful hope and optimism ripped away. So begins our heroine's evolution. And people just aren't seeing the pain and confusion. Teenagers, am I right? Dawn returns to the scene of the crime. Look who's got crabs now. She reads about a condition called vagina dentata. What a wonderful phrase. She goes to the gynecologist. Just don't mention you looked it up on WebMD first. They hate that. Well, looks like this doctor is a total slime bag too. Relax. Uh, you put in here. This is why you pour out the Pringles. Jeez, was he using the whole fist? Ah, it's true. It means no worries. Maybe she should have seen a dentist? My wife wrote that one. Toby's body is found, minus one crab cake. That makes her vagina a murder suspect, or at least a vagina of interest. Dawn's mother collapses and goes to the hospital. Dawn finally confides in her friend Ryan, played by Ashley Springer. She's had a rough time lately, with her mother being ill and crippling her gyno. Vagina dentata. It means no worries. My mom takes these for her nerves. Welcome to my nightmare pit. Holy shit, those are teeth. Okay, ma'am, I gotta run. You have a great day. Support a friend is also opportunistic. Candles, romantic music, wine after plainly giving a minor a sedative. I don't see any issues here. And they have sex. By this point, half the men in the audience are screaming, No, don't go in there, son! But the sex is consensual this time, and it seems like her teeth calm down. It looks like maybe she just had to meet a decent guy. Looks like she finally met one. Nope, he's a jerk. Hey, loser. As we speak. He had a bet going to see if he could score with Dawn, which he discusses openly while still inside her. Do you see a massive error in judgment here? She told him she's got teeth. She told him what they can do. And you piss her off with your wiener resting on those pearly whites? Ah! Oh. Ah! Shit. Some hero. Bring the sewing kit! Dawn's mother dies, and her stepfather tries to throw out Brad, but his dog has his back. Yeah, who's kicking who out now, old man? Oh. I really wish someone would just bite his dick off already. You made her my sister. Brad confesses his love for his stepsister, Dawn. I loved her, Dad. Uh. Ew! You were what, seven? Come back when you make Jedi Knight. Dawn finds out Brad did nothing when her mother collapsed. Time for revenge. Let's see, run him over with the car, and uh, stab him in his sleep, and uh, poison his bong. Well, you know what she's gonna do. She's gonna use the old penthouse grin. She brings on the charm and seduces Stepbro. And a Pornhub channel is born. It seems to be going well, and Brad is happy to be finally with Dawn. Hey sis, remember the time you bit my finger when we were little kids? I know it's strange to bring that up now, but that wasn't... Your mouth, was it? Oh boy. You done fucked up, son. Look at that stone cold look. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Muzzle tough! Rather than dump it in a vacant lot, she drops it right there, but it's okay. They'll probably be able to reattach it. Get her! Except the dog eats it like a snossage. Yummy, crunchy, bacon, bacon, bacon! Yum, 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 it's bacon! Mm, I love you! <laughs> Dawn, don't leave me! <laughs> Nothing left at home, Dawn leaves, going who knows where, and hitchhiking suddenly isn't as scary as it should be. Who knew Popeye was such a perv? Well, blow me down. <laughs> There's really no need for this. Gas or grass are still viable payment options. Look out, boys. She's a man-eater. And that was teeth. 
The recurring imagery of nuclear power and related themes of mutation and adaption would fit in any comic origin story. It's about why you are the way you are. The only thing missing is a Stan Lee cameo. What if she needs braces? Were they chattering during this scene? Well, that floss dance finally makes some sense. Dawn's character is, of course, the heart of this movie, so she's the only real arc here. She starts as a timid, naive girl and progresses into a stronger, more confident character. Even at the end, she can surely get away from this guy, but she stays, presumably to punish him. You can see her accepting her destiny. She's been mistreated by practically every male character so far, and she's getting back at the evil men of the world. Hashtag Vigilante. <laughs> practically every man in Dawn's world sucks, and they are here to be terrible and to be punished for it. You cheer with every bite. Early on, Brad seems to display a preference for anal sex, almost as if he has a subconscious aversion to vaginas. I wonder why. The body count is fairly light, but the casualties are... <sighs> there go the fists. Toby is the only confirmed kill. Ryan and the doc are shown having reconstructive surgery. Amazing how nobody goes to the cops. But the jury's out on Brad whether or not he lives or dies. In any case... This man has no dick. Supporting characters are very one-dimensional. They are mostly cartoon stereotypes of bullying and evil. This is a dark concept. You get into topics like rape and incest. Back off YouTube, this is a clinical discussion. And there's an I spit on your grave vibe to the story, but her method of fighting back is so over the top, so unlikely, and so outlandish that this becomes a very, very dark comedy. You just have to laugh. The tone shifts uncomfortably, actually. Horrifying events often end with a comedic punchline. The humor does give some relief to a movie that could easily have become unbearable. The acting isn't the strongest. It feels like something the sci-fi channel spits out. Sorry. Dawn is a likable, relatable, and sympathetic character. Her acting and demeanor improves as she matures. She becomes more confident, gains control over her new powers, and becomes a feminist hero. Hashtag Vagilante. Her victims play assholes well and their anguish is believable. Not that I ever witnessed anyone getting their dick ripped off, but I buy it. And we all know nuclear power creates superpowers, three-eyed fish, and vaginal teeth. Teeth is three and a half Bs. It's an entertainingly dark, funny story, and Dawn is an interesting character to follow. After all these horrible things that happened, she's starting a new life, with a new attitude, and probably a new dental plan. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, the usual YouTube stuff. Do you know anyone who needs to have something bitten off? Comment below. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles!